Well, yes, welcome to Good Night Housing with Dan Housing. Today we have a uh, very comedic, very evil Ron Funches Housing. How do you do? I'm good. I've never been described. I have been described very comedic, but never very evil before. Well, evil is a good thing. You have to be a little bit evil. No, I agree with that. I, I personally, I consider myself like an imp. I like to have fun and play around, but also I enjoy mischief. I enjoy sorrow. How could you not? As a comedian, you must enjoy mischief at least a tiny bit, yes? Yes. I mean, one of the best things about being a comedian is watching your friends fail and watching people not enjoy them. It makes you so happy. See, this is what Dan Housen does with that war horse fellow. Dan Housen enjoys Lost on TNT to Corey. <laughs> you didn't take Dan Housen's uh, very uh, veteran-like advice. Punch him yeah. in the brain, you know. Well, you got to listen. You got to listen. You know what you're talking about. Yes, exactly. Dan Housen is the most evil, most successful. So, you know. That's what I've heard. All on television, winning Ring of Honor matches. I mean, is Warhol doing that? Television. I don't think so. No, it's just, what a fool. Shall <laughs> This show is not about War Horse, though. This is about you. This is about Ron Funches. Okay, good. The requested guest of Dan Housen. Oh, nice. I love hey, that. People are very excited about this. You know, you're the first non-wrestler guest on the show. Oh, that makes me very happy. I love kind of bridging that gap between like comedy and wrestling and because yes. I, I love those things. Yes, exactly. Now, Dan Housen usually, first of all, you know what? Happy New Year. Dan Housen is sorry to be rude. Or oh, a very evil new year to you, Dan Housen. Love it. <laughs> Dan Housen, you know, there's some fan housing questions that they have submitted. And some of them are about wrestling, but some about comedy. Some about okay. acting. Is that okay if Dan Housen, uh, you know, spruces up this interview a bit? I'm an open book, Dan Housen. Wonderful. So, Dan Housen, first of all, Dan Housen was listening to Getting Better. And he was listening to this uh, Patton Oswalt fellow on your show. Mm -hmm. And Dan Housen saw some very similarities to uh, wrestling and comedy. Mm -hmm. You shall borrow some quotes that are probably wrong, but Dan Housen took notes. He did a little notes, and he says, uh, let's see, show what you love as a comedian, and stop, uh, what is this? Do not be afraid. And this is exactly what Dan Housen did. Let's explain more. Expound upon that, Dan Housen. <laughs> See, you cannot be terrified. This is what Dan Housen got from the notes of you two. Mm -hmm. You said, do not be terrified of being boring. And Dan Housen thought that was very good advice. <laughs> this is the advice Dan Housen has taken. He did not hear it from here, but this is good advice that Dan Housen should bestow upon the other wrestling fellows. No, I think that it goes back and forth. I take a lot a lot of the things that I learn and apply to comedy come from wrestling, the way that I... Uh, dress up the way that I try to make myself seem bigger than than normal. A lot of that comes from like if you watch my my special Giggle Fit, the way I dress up, the way I wear an outfit like Ric Flair. Yes. Yeah, I mean I take a lot from pro wrestling because I, I I think they, I mean they're very similar jobs of just working for the um, reaction of the audience. Yes, you get direct feedback right away, and you take a risk as you go out there. And you know, you get that direct feedback, then you know what works and what is not working. Absolutely. Yes. How is it? And also, I want to know, can I ask you a question? Yes. Okay. How, what is it like? Because in comedy, a lot of times when people do things different and try to do a different character that people haven't seen before, a lot of people, uh, you know, try to belittle it or go, this doesn't work. And I imagine that sometimes that might have happened with you and what you do and the work that uh, who you are as a person. Do people ever go, I don't understand this Dan Housen? All the time, Dan Housen has started to take this, uh, what is he saying, a grain of salt? Mm -hmm. Because, see, Dan Housen, he applied this. At first, Dan Housen was too evil and people did not like that. So if you add the very nice, you can trick them. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I do. Yes. <laughs> Too evil does not work. People no, do like that. Yeah. Splashing the very nice part, and then the stacks of money come in. Yes. <laughs> yes, but this was actually one of the fan housing questions, was how are uh, wrestling and comedy similar and different? So we've kind wow. of touched upon that. 
Yeah. I just say like it's similar in the fact that we're, we both kind of work for pops from the audience and they're reacting sometimes to misdirect the audience and, and make them go the way we want to. I think they're very dissimilar in the fact just in body uh, pain and putting yourself through it. I always said, I, I know, know what it's like to go through a table physically, but I do emotionally yes. do several gigs in Milton, Washington. Ooh. Yes, well, that's the thing. We both, uh, under both career paths, it seems that we both do shows to one to five people, sometimes all in the same profession, or <laughs> no one. Mm -hmm. Or perhaps in the uh, abandoned Target. Dan has <laughs> wrestled inside of an abandoned Target before to about 15 people. Ooh, an abandoned Target? That sounds fun. And that sounds like your place where you should be. Yes, well, perhaps we shall do a new show there one day. I, I don't have that one. I've done several Moose Lodges, and I've done uh, a lot of coffee houses, so and uh, you know truck stops, bars, things like that. But uh, but no no abandoned targets. No, Dan Housing has wrestled in a bar, but no coffee shop. That seems quite nice. Coffee shop can be fun if they if they're willing to give you some of the baked goods, or if you're in a match, you can grab a hot pot of coffee and pour it on your opponent. Yes, yes, as long as it's decaf, because you don't want to hype them up. That's true, because then they will come back and, uh, you know, probably win. Yes. Be over-caffeinated. <laughs> yes, it's not good. It's, it's quite terrible, actually. Uh, <laughs> actually, this one part relates. It is, uh, any traveling tips? Someone wanted to know about your pro travel tips. What, what do you need? Dan Housen what? also actually wants to know. I mean, I think if you travel a lot, of, of course, the main thing is to condense to as few airlines as possible so that you build your points and build your reward status to get your like choice. Like Spirit Airlines, you must build all those points to get the proper, proper, uh, wonderful <laughs> flights from Spirit Airlines. So that they'll let you bring up 